Uh, we are out here in Willard, Ohio at Willard Yard. We are currently at the side on the side of the yard near the turntables. We got let's see, we got some engines over here. Got that one. We got BNSF right behind it. And then if you look closely, no, they're not doing a very good job behind that Norfolk Southern scheme. All right, let's see if we can get a little closer. And I was told this was technically public property. I'm not sure for certain. Look at the second Norfolk Southern engine back there. We got some motor racks. Got a yellow number two over there. And I'm not sure if that's that looks like an SD40-2 way over there. I'm not completely sure. Well, Willard, Willard Yard, Willard, Ohio. There's, I'm guessing like a repair facility. I'm not going to get too much closer because that would definitely be trespassing. But yeah, I'm hoping to catch some stuff here today. I took a time lapse of about 20 minutes of, well, rail fanning is, so there's that. Um, not much more. This is about it. I forget, I got in a camera stand recently, but I forgot it. So I'm freehanding it yet again. All right, let's see what we can find here in Willard, Ohio.
All right, very first train, and it stops right in front of me. Uh, we're going to move down more towards the eastern part of the yard. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a better view of stuff there. This dude's in front of us. We can't get the view, look at anything.
Yeah, if I talked to you yesterday going back, yeah, apparently they just told you to stick around the office, we'll get something else for you, or what? I, quit, I get a quick 40 winks in my car sitting in a parking lot every night. <laughs> That's probably about all you can handle. Uh, Vince, you ready to go west, buddy? Yeah, my conductor's uh, heading up this way in a cab right now. I just moved, mosey on nice and slow. I should pick him up on the fly here in the interlocking. I got nothing going on, and I still don't have my computer turned on. Just got done with the turnover. Kevin said that you were requested of Northwest Ohio. I'll have to verify that. But whenever you grab your conductor, okay, for the restart there, I'll pick up the speed. You got the lights to go all the way. I'll get you up there, and we'll talk. All right, thank you very much, much uh, Kenneth. I appreciate it. I uh, got the lights all the way. We'll talk. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Here we go, bud. Thank you. See you next time. 369.
right, here we go. We got an M42 Duster right here. It served in the U.S. Army from 1950, I'm going to say 52, to 1988. It ceased production in 1960, though. It's got two, I believe these are 40 millimeters. Right? Well, 40 mils? Maybe. Yeah, I believe it's got a pair of 40 millimeters uh, for anti aircraft defense. Got some storage bins right here. Old tracks. It had decent mobility, a good top speed. Armor protection was really light, but those anti air guns did do work. They did pretty well. Yeah, here's this we found along. It's just outside of Bellevue on the uh, east side of Bellevue by a building with VFW on the side of it. And you got a little mortar here too. I actually got to see one of these fire while I was at Fort Jackson, so that was pretty cool. Alright, up here we got uh, some fire mechanisms. So I'm actually not going to get in there, but yeah. And I'm not sure if we can adjust this or turn the turret at all. It does not look like we can adjust it at all. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Again, west side of, or no, not west, east side of Bellevue. Take a look in there. No, normally you'd be able to, you know, aim out somewhere like that. Yeah, the crew was not very well protecting these things at all. 